same. And if we didn't live a modern lifestyle, sitting, working in front of us, things like that, working for the amount of time that we do also, we'd probably be in a lot better physical shape, you know, if that was the case. You know, you look at primitive peoples, they're still like 40, 50, 60, 70 years old, they're still climbing trees, they're still running down animals. And, you know, most cultures are, are slowly, you know, getting eradicated off the earth for the favor of modernization. I don't know what benefit it's doing for us as a physical being, but not much. Um, but to get people back to moving, throwing, running, playing, you know, throwing, should be able to throw. That's your milk, the throw. And then unwind it. Because if you're going always in one direction, you're going to develop imbalances. So you want to unwind it and do those outside moves and do things like that. So these are all things that you know I'm seeing over this five-year time, what's going on, and the, the evolution and the, the growth of this modality is so much fun. I mean. People say to me, like, I, I see different people coming out with maces and clubs now, and different ideas for them. And they, they'll ask me, well, aren't you nervous they're going to, you know, take your slice of the pie or whatever? And I'm like, no. I said, that fosters the modality. This is, this is another person that's going to make sure that another, at least 300 people know about this type of training. We're still underground. What you guys are doing, coming to this class, what you guys are teaching, and everything is still very, very underground. And I mean, it's so underground that people who train with, with like other implements other than regular weapons, let's say they're training with sandbags, or they're doing, they're doing like jujitsu as they're training, they don't know about clubs and maces. And, and it, it, it kind of like baffles me that they're not more mainstream.